Hey guys, my name is Tiffany and welcome to episode 81 of Flea Markets Video Game Hunting. So this is Wednesday and Sunday, two days in one video. So I want to start off by saying that two of the pickups I traded into GameStop for that special that they had going on. You know, the $5 extra for every game that you traded in that was $2 or more. So the first things that I picked up that Wednesday at the flea market was these posters for $2 dollars each now i picked these up without knowing that the size of the posters was gonna be a little hard to find the frames for i did buy two they were like five something i think um i don't really remember but i only got two i still need to get another two or i want to actually get eight because there's two in each of the posters that's why they were two dollars each i guess so yeah i need to get a full set of eight so anyways those were two dollars each and the next pickups was one of the ladies that throws things on the floor and i wasn't really finding much or i kind of had the feeling that i wouldn't find much so i picked up this game mostly because it just had the map on it or the map in it actually so i don't know why i wanted the map but i decided to pick it up so that was a total of three dollars i think yeah I, I don't know if she charged me yeah she charged me two for the game and she charged me one for this little fan which it was kind of like i, I know guys i don't know if i should have picked it up or not but i did so that was three dollars for both the game and the fan and this was 50 cents each for the little magnets which this is the lady that throws everything on the floor so 50 cents each for these. I thought that was a good deal. So this is the last thing that I picked up on Wednesday. This little bendy figure. And he was $1. I was trying to find the prettiest box to actually pick out. Because I didn't like that he had a sticker on the front of his face. Yeah, I ended up changing the box. He had a couple there. I don't know if I should have picked up more. I have heard of this game. But I don't really think I, that I want to play it. I don't know. I know this is kind of like Hell hello neighbor kind of ish right maybe like that so yeah he was a dollar and the next thing that i picked up that you won't see in the recap portion of the video was this dying light game for the xbox one so the funny thing about this guys was since i'm not gonna show it to you i picked up dying light for the xbox one for two dollars and then i ended up finding dying light again but for the ps4 and i had already gotten a copy from a youtuber so i got the enhanced edition so i didn't really need these but i did pick these up because of i think this was even before i even found out that the you know if the game is two dollars or more you get the extra five so yeah i just thought that was funny and i'm letting you guys know because you're not going to see that in the recap the two dying light games but yeah i picked up this ps2 which you guys tell me if you think it works so i picked up the ps2 for five no cords controllers and he had an nes there which he wanted 24 he had the power adapter some games and the console itself no av no controller but he told me that he tested it and it worked. In my head, I did not like figure out like he doesn't have the av or the control so how did he test this out so you guys let me know if you think this is gonna work and let me know if the ps2 will work so i pick both of those up for 20 i just thought that was a great deal so the ps2 was 5 and the nes was 15 he wanted 20 for it but i told him that it didn't have the control because the only thing he told me was it didn't have the av but it was also missing the control so this was the dying light copy that i told you guys about he wanted five dollars for it and I was kind of thinking about it, but I did end up picking it up at the end. All right, guys. So the moment of truth, you guys think the PS2 will work. I decided to test Crazy Taxi. You know, I love that game. So will it or will it not? Well, I already know, but yes, it is did guys i was kind of scared to pick it up because i picked up a ps2 i think it was last episode or two episodes ago well, i don't really remember but it does work and i'm i tried to play this game with one hand because i'm holding my phone to record the, the gameplay but it does work and uh, i did an okay job if you ask me you'll see my rank at the end here but oh this game is so good so 
anyways, guys, let me know if you think this NES will work. So, moment of truth, and nope. Nope, it doesn't work, and I, I'll fix that. That's an easy fix. I've had an NES that had this problem before, and I did fix it. So I'm thinking about fixing it. So anyways, guys, without further ado, let's get into the pickups. Hey guys, hope you're all having a great day. So I want to show you guys what I picked up. The first things that I picked up. So I thought this wasn't going to be a very good day. And actually, I wasn't even going to stop at this booth. I was not. But good thing that I did because these were $2 a piece. So let me grab one by one. First off, let me show you the coolest one that I think is the best. Let me know what your favorite poster is. These are pretty small. I went to Walmart to see if they had any sizes for these posters they're from walmart the sizing is 11 by 17 as you guys can see there i don't know if you guys can see it is very glary there you go 11 by 17 these are from walmart i don't know if you guys have seen them before i never saw them when i went to walmart i don't really go to walmart that often so maybe that's why but they were four dollars the lady was giving them for two dollars a piece so this is my favorite but i also like this one not as much as the other side but yeah so that one was my favorite let me show you guys the next one that i picked up two dollars keep in mind two dollars each so this one was two dollars as well and this is pretty cool super mario kart there you guys go and the next piece is this one which i'm not really sure i don't really like it as much i didn't really play this game uh it's not the same one that's on 3ds right because if it's not then yeah i haven't played it actually i think this is eight right mario kart eight yeah no i think uh the one on 3ds is mario kart seven right so yeah the next one is uh one that i wasn't gonna pick up but good thing that i did because i really like this side of it the next side you can probably tell what it is sorry for the glare as well guys but you know i got these light bulbs in the front so it's gonna be a little glary especially because it still has the shrink wrap on it i can't really take that off because i don't want the posters to bend until i find actual like frames for the posters so I was looking for the frames at Walmart because these are from Walmart, but they didn't have any sizes. They did have one, but it was like 15 almost $20 for the frame, and I was not going to pay that. So yeah, let me know what your favorite side is. I think I like the Mario one better on that one. And this is the last and final one. So here it is. I couldn't leave this. I really didn't want to pick it up. But I decided to pick it up. I don't know if I'm going to display it or not. But for $2, I couldn't leave it there. And then there's this one, which is pretty better at showing it on camera, honestly. So, yeah, that is the last one. So, they were $4.98 at Walmart plus tax, so like 5 something And I got them for 2 at the flea market. Never seen them at Walmart, like I said. So, I don't know. Let me know if you guys have seen them. If you guys have some, let me know. So, the next thing that I picked up was this 360 game. I kind of just decided to pick it up for the poster. Because, let me show you guys the disc. So, I was going to pick this up, but I think if I were to trade it in at GameStop, they would probably not take it in because, as you guys can see on the sides, it's pretty, like, messed up. I don't know. Maybe I should have tried to trade it in, but I didn't try to, and it is really scratched, as you guys can see there. So, let me show you guys. This is the reason that I picked it up. So, it does come with the manual and the poster, and then it has, like, a little download now paper which uh that's kind of weird oh it says you have to go to the marketplace and redeem your code but i don't see a code on here at all so i don't know what this is all about so here is let me show you the poster actually so this is the book which is pretty cool look at the social club i kind of want to make a social club for my uh i'm playing gta 5 now and it's kind of addicting so i kind of want to make a club but I don't know. Let me know if you guys would uh, would join that or not. So here is the map for Midnight Club. I have to kind of like look through the side to see if it's actually in frame. And here is the cars that are in the game, I guess, right? So here we go. That's pretty cool. I didn't really play this game. Ooh, Santa Monica, Westwood, Beverly Hills, Hollywood, Hollywood Hills, downtown. 
That is a lot. Okay, well, I, I don't think I've ever played this game. I played Midnight Club Dub Edition, maybe. Yeah, I think on PS2 or Xbox Original. One of the two. But yeah, that's pretty cool. But the graphics look pretty cool. I remember when I played GTA 4 for the first time on Xbox 360. And I thought the graphics could never get any better. And now we're on GTA 5. Hopefully GTA 6 comes out. But I'm pretty sure that'll come out for the new consoles. So, yeah. So that was $2, by the way. And this was 1 So I really don't know why I picked this up. I think I kind of picked it up just to have it in the background. Uh, but yeah, it's like a mobile app game for, I guess, phones or tablets too, maybe. So, yeah. I don't know. This is kind of like a regret buy. I don't know. Let me know if you guys like it or not. I know it's a fan for a dollar or well, i don't know all right so the next thing i picked up was with the lady that throws everything on the floor and it was three of the same magnets so let me just show you one of these magnets so two and then one that's three so it they're yoshi crafted world magnets which i'm pretty sure they gave these at like target or something so here's the front and here's the back or the front in the back i don't know what the front in the back is actually is but here is both sides as you guys can see there so yeah, these are from Target, I'm guessing, because everything that the lady has there is usually from Target. Alright, so the magnets were 50 cents, and then I found this little bendy guy for a dollar, and I decided why not pick it up. I've never played this game, I heard it's kind of hard, I don't know, it's kind of like Hello Neighbor, it's kind of like a game like that, right? So yeah. It's a little like indie title, I guess you could say. I don't know if Hello Neighbor is indie as well, but the price on this was $4.98. It was on clearance for $9.99 and then, no, oh yeah, $9.99 and then it went on clearance for $4.98, but it didn't sell, so. I was kind of thinking of picking up the little goofy fella looking guy, but uh, yeah, they didn't have him, all they had was this little guy, so a dollar, I'll probably just put him in the background somewhere. So the next thing that I can't show you because I traded it into GameStop for that whole $5 extra for every game that you bring in that's $2 or more. So I don't have that and I don't have the Dying Light. So Dying Light, I got a copy on Xbox for $2 and then I got a copy on PS4 for $5 and I traded them both into GameStop. So I'm sorry about that, about not showing you, but I kind of wanted to do that. I wanted to do it like a trade-in to get a Switch, but I didn't get enough money to be able to do that. So I'm going to have to wait probably for like a Black Friday or something. I could hopefully get it. All right, so I want to show you guys what I picked up. This was all going to be $20 and this was just the console only. I was looking at this, but I wanted really the NES is what I really wanted. So I asked him how much he wanted for this and he said $5 and I told him how much he wanted for the NES and he said $20. Um, he said it worked, he tested it out, but um, you guys saw when I tested it, it didn't work. You guys might know what the problem is on that. I did have an NES that I bought like years ago. It had the same problem, but I ended up fixing it just fine. It worked fine. So I'm pretty sure it'll work fine after I fix it. But this was five. It worked great. I do have all the connections for this and controllers for it. So $5 and it works. That's just a great deal. So let me show you the games that I picked up with the NES. So there was a guy there looking at the NES and he looked at the games and he didn't really like them. So he put it back. So he gave me this the wife was like oh what does this go to and he was like hey here th I'll throw that in I don't really know what it goes to but maybe you can use it so up for trades um, eh, I don't really know I think that's for cheat codes or something I'm pretty sure so let me show you the games that came with the NES all right so the first game that we got is this and it actually looks pretty flawless except you know it has a little ding here and there the next game is Top Gun which is kind of funny because the movie's coming out the second one I've never seen the first one and the last and final game that came in the NES was this so keep in mind that the NES was 15 and the PS2 was five dollars so twenty dollars in total for this so the guy told me that he tested the nes and that it worked just fine but at the time i wasn't really paying attention like how could you know if the nes works if you don't have the av cord for it that goes to the tv that plugs in and you don't have the controller for it so he told me he tested it and it worked fine but obviously we saw that it has a problem 
Uh, anyways, so I did buy an AV cord and the power cord that you see here came with the console. It's not original. It's something that he just threw in there, just throw in there. So let me know what the problem for this is, guys. But as you guys saw, it does not work. I'm going to have to fix whatever that problem is. I'm surprised that it's not yellowed. And it does have a ding right there. Like a, you can see that very well. So a lot of scratches as well here and there. But overall clean and the color is still pretty nice, honestly. So let me know what your favorite item was from everything that I picked up. Honestly, I'm probably going to have to say that NES, you guys always ask me why I never pick up cartridge based games and honestly guys it's because i don't really find them that much at my local flea market i mostly find disc based games newer not really nes not n64 not snes uh, that is really rare for me to find where i go to but when i can find them and if they're a great price then i do usually pick them up so yeah that is the nes is probably my favorite pickup the nes and the ps2 hopefully you guys enjoyed it thank you guys for watching thank you guys for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos if you want to follow me on twitter instagram facebook or twitch the links will be down below in the description happy hunting until next time guys i'll see you in my next video